Hello guys, welcome back to the class for Ura's TGS Marine YouTube channel. Today we are discussing about how to overhaul the ball for the Mitsubishi cell chapter purifiers. This video is going to be correlated with the video, overall video, which you can find easily on the YouTube. And along with that, we will be discussing the each and every step along with the manual of the Mitsubishi cell ejector purifiers. So as you can see on the right side of the screen, you will find the video, overall video for the bowl and uh, on the left you will find the manual in the PDF format along with the steps. So this video is going to be very elaborated and uh, each and every step, important step which you guys will be taking care during the purifier overall on board ships. So first of all, we have to ensure that uh, all our tools, all our tools are uh, in proper order and in proper conditions, such as the bowl nut handle, the main seal ring, jacks, and the protective plates and other jacks. They should in a good condition. Otherwise, what will happen when we will be overhauling the bowl and the purifier? And if we come across that the parts and the tools are damaged, then our overall will be delayed. So before that, we have to ensure that before ball opening or any machinery overall, we ensure that the machine is stopped completely and the multi-monitor function of the Mitsubishi purifier is turned off and the power supply is turned off and the cell ejector feed liquid inlet and outlet valves for the oil are shut the heater is shut and the other uh, high temperature by uh, piping and main body they are heated to high temperature so we should take proper precautions by wearing proper PPEs and uh, make sure that all the systems are isolated and lockout tagout has been made properly. Please note that in the Mitsubishi cell ejectors, all the screws are clockwise screws. So there is no chance or there is no debate that the nuts or the screws in the Mitsubishi purifiers are anti-clockwise. So this video is going to be uh, parallelly with manual as well as with the overall of the bowl. So coming to the overall, the first step says we have to remove the plug mounted in front of the bracket to drain the oil. These are the uh, inlet and outlet pipe. You can see here, these are the inlet and outlet pipes. We have to drain these uh, plugs. We have to drain the oil and uh, inside the piping and loosen the cap nuts at the top and bottom of the sealing water tubes and the top of the sealing water uh, inlet or you can call it uh, replacement water. Shut off the power to the starter to ensure that the cell chapter will not start unexpectedly. Yeah, you can see here that the sealing water tube is being removed. and uh, the inlet and outlet piping will also be opened here like with the uh, spanner, round spanner and uh, before that we have to ensure one important thing that uh, while we will be opening the piping there may be uh, leakage of the oil in this part so ensure the proper rags, oily rags are kept and uh, they should be fed inside in this piping to avoid unnecessary leakage of oil inlet and outlet pipe both and make sure that uh, we will not be losing the gasket yeah we have to loosen the both sides this top part as well as this bottom part of the pipe along with that the sludge discharge line this piping which is connected to the purifier they have to be while you will be opening 
the oil will be leaking from here so ensure the gasket is not lost all the orifice and uh, this part is uh, yeah after that you have to keep the piping like this one important part here uh, before opening the cap nut please make a marking here with the highlighter or the permanent marker make the marking here so that while boxing back the purifier you will be having a reference point so make the marking here and then open the cabinet with the spanner you have to open the nut but before that we have to measure the height of the nut and the piping this part uh, we have to use the vernier here one important point here keep the vernier here at this part and rest it over here and measure the height so that it will also be used as a reference point while boxing back remove the nut fixing the inlet pipe with the spanner now yeah there is a socket set screw here which is inside and uh, you have to loosen that with the inlet pipe and tap with the mallet so that inlet pipe goes in see uh, hit on the top of the inlet pipe lightly with the plastic hammer to detach the oppressed portion of the liquid light liquid impeller so you can see over here that the person has uh, put it with the plastic and using the chain block to remove the ball please do not pull the wire out of the handle else you will lose the uh, ball cover the sludge cover now we are going to open the um, sludge cover there are four allen bolts here open them with the allen keys and after that we have to put the jack fit the jack on the top of part of the upper hood and the handle now the handle is being placed and then with the chain block slowly please lift up the uh, sludge cover at this point please note that the o ring is intact sometimes what happens is when you are taking the uh, sludge cover out the o ring will lose its position it will be in deformed manner so make sure you do not have expansion of the o-ring or the o-ring is intact over this part on the body lift up the sludge cover using the wire and chain block on the handle of the jack pull the sludge cover in the body now removing the uh, gravity disc and other assemblies so these are the um, assemblies in a heavy liquid impeller this is the bound nut and uh, sorry disc nut light liquid impeller packing yeah you can see the packing on the gravity disc then you will find find the light liquid chamber chamber is in the brass one important point i would like to uh, make here that when you are when you are using the tool to open this uh, light liquid chamber please do not make it with full force because this is of brass and if you are hammering it very hard it will lose its uh, slots and the grooves so make sure you hit it in a very light force like this uh, when you are opening it do not hit too hard otherwise the brass will get deformed it will uh, easily get loosened up after you are taking out the light liquid chamber then uh, this is the impeller and this is the inlet pipe we have to now take all these parts separately and do not lose each part and uh, uh, yeah 
mount the disk nut handle on the disk nut we have yeah after that we have to take out the cap nut which is tightened to the ball on the vertical shot with the cap nut spanner like this and uh, insert the cap nut spanner in the ball and set the spanner on the cap nut and threaded rod on the spanner into the threaded hole at the head of the cap is now out now we have to mount the jack by threading it into the top of the threaded part of the distributor but tightening it down it will cause a jacking effect and the ball will start rising up see he is uh, tightening up and the jack is being uh, making the ball to rise up after that we have to hold the whole assembly and lift it with the chain lock yeah after that chain lock is uh, mounted and uh, it is being put on the stand yeah take out the part now this part is very much important this is a compression tool the compression tool is very much important because uh, uh, what happens is the disc which are inside they are in the high tension high ten, highly tensile so we have to remove the tensile forces as the disc stack so that it will not cause any damage to the bowl while opening there is a side area for that you have to look over here and uh, the distributor and the other part they should be matching see here we have to adjust the direction of the peep hole to see the rib of the distributor and tighten the nut until the nut is at the same of the top disc after that we have to mount the uh bowl nut handle after hammering it lightly we have to open the bowl nut if the bowl nut is not opening please do not open it to force because it will cause the damage to the bowl use the steaming and not the direct flame to open the bowl nut afterwards we have to open the remove the compression tool now the protective plate is being used the protective plate is used to open the ball hood the ball uh, the disc nut is being put and uh, we have to turn the push bolt to raise the ball hood like this the ball hood will will come up see it is causing the jacking effect yeah now the distributor and the disc stacks and the top disc now we have to uh, connect it with the screw handle and for that we have to clean the individual disc and uh, make them in the proper order in the sequence they are being opened now we have to open the operating slide by using this jack we have to connect the four screw and tighten the the operating slide is taken out now we have to clear and uh, clean this bowl and uh, now we have to open the pilot assembly at this uh, allen screw we can take the out of uh, pilot valves yeah like this with the help of the this jack now we can open the individual o rings and uh, clear of the pilot wells and 
place the new o-rings while boxing back uh, the procedure is reverse now we have to change the main scene like this part is very important the Mitsubishi purifier provides us the main scene ring removal uh, screw so we have to heat it with the flame and then make the uh, flame like now we have to open it firmly like this right the main seal ring is very integral part of the purifier be careful do not make any because it can cause the wires to leak of course now we have to clear off the uh, main scene ring glue and put the main scene, fresh main seal ring now the boxing bag procedure is uh, entirely the reverse of the overhaul this is the assembling of the ball like this is the pilot all the parts have been uh, renewed with the new o-rings and being lu lubricated now we have to tighten it we have to mount the cylinder in the reverse order but before that we have to oil the parts so that there is no friction and the parts should go easily Yeah, right. After that, we have to again put the operating slide and uh, we have to match the parts with the dowel pins. Now we have to arrange all the discs, clean discs in the same order of the overall. Then we have to put them in place and again we have to put the ball, uh, ball cover and we have to see the pin and the slot are matching and the O marks are also matching to each other again we are using that compression tool and uh, we have to see through this peephole whether the distributor and the other part has been in the same line we have to lightly hammer now put the bound nut with again the bound nut handle yeah this part is very important all the O marks they should be matching in the same line now again we have to mount the same parts in the reverse order On the inlet pipe, this is the cap. Reverse order. The same procedure is being reversed. The inlet pipe, the gravity disc, and the impellers are being put the backing. Now, right, right. So again, the sludge cover is being put, and uh, gently, it should not hit the inlet pipe. the allen keys are being tightened and the socket set screw is being fitted to the inlet pipe it should not tighten too much just touch the inlet pipe and the bound nut handle and again we have to measure the uh, distance of this with the help of the one year caliper it should be the same before overall and after overall and again zero marking should be matching here in the nut and the cap place all the parts with the packing I hope this video is very much understood by all of us and please do subscribe to the channel for more alerts thank you so much
Bon voyage.